Okay guys, this video is on side spin, where to aim on the object ball, how the cue ball reacts when you play different sides. I'm going to do some examples of check side, run inside, and also playing ball to let you see the reaction on what the cue ball, how it reacts um, when it, wherever you strike it really. Also, we're going to use cue cam to show you my point of view, um, so it gives you a bit of a, a clue where I'm aiming. So I'm going to give you three examples um, of what, what happens with, with side. I'm going to do a, a, a straight screw back. We've got a straight black here. So if I screw back in with middle of the white, the cue ball is basically going to come off at a natural angle. Um, I'm no good at geometry, so I don't know what the natural angle is, but it's going to come off the way it's supposed to go. I'll say it like that. If I put left hand side on, which is run inside, the cue ball is going to come back and the, the, the left hand side, the cue ball is going to be going like that. It's going to hit the cushion and it's going to make it go that way. So you'd play that black as if you're trying to get position on the yellow. Check side, so if I play right hand side on the cue ball, um, we'll get on to aiming when I actually play the shot, but right hand side, the cue ball will be going that way. So consequently, when it hits the cushion, it kills it, kills the speed. So the cue ball will, will just basically come in this direction. So you've got playing ball, we've got run inside, and we've got check side. So we'll start with the playing ball. Middle of the cue ball, but low. So there's the natural angle. I'm going to put on the old uh, cue cam. So hopefully you'll get an idea of roughly where I'm aiming. So right down the throat of the pocket, middle of the cue ball. That's plain ball, no side at all. So the same straight black, we're going to play with left hand side, run inside, which as I said, cue ball this way, hits the cushion up that way. So when you come with left hand side, you're still aiming in the middle, but you're kind of favoring a little bit of almost aiming the black to there. Because, because you're hitting the ball hard with left hand side, the, the cue ball's inclination is to go that way. So we're aiming a little bit slightly offline to allow for the side. Now, this is all about practice to know. You have to gauge it yourself really how hard you're hitting the ball and how much you want to allow. Everyone's different. Um, some players, I mean, some players have cues with ultra low deflection that actually allows them to aim in the normal place. Um, so they don't have to allow for the side, um, but that's a whole conversation for another day. When I'm playing with left hand side, I'm slightly aiming the, the black to the right knuckle. Side, and you can see a much wider angle on the cue ball. The natural angle was here, the side pushed it up the table. So if you're playing for a red into that pocket and there was a, another red in the way, you'd need to play that side to get the cue ball up the table. So I'm gonna be aiming the black slightly to the right half of the pocket, almost to the right jaw. Now, I'll, I'll exaggerate it slightly to give you some sort of idea, but you'll see I'm clearly aiming almost to miss the black here but it didn't, went in the middle of the pocket, and there's the run inside. So this time, we're playing right hand side, check side. When we're playing with run inside, I said we're aiming the black, or I was aiming the black slightly this knuckle. Now, with the opposite side, I'm aiming the black slightly this knuckle of the pocket to allow for the check side. So when I'm playing right hand side, so the cue ball's coming back this way, it's gonna hit the cushion, it's basically just gonna die when it hits the cushion. All the pace is gonna be taken off it, and the cue ball is just going to come out in a straight line. An example for this shot, say you had a red there, you want to play for into middle pocket because there was no other reds available. Check side, you see it just kills the cue ball and now we're perfect on the reds. I'm going to exaggerate slightly but I'm going to be aiming as if to miss the black on the left side of the pocket this time. And there's a the check side killing the cue ball off the cushion. Three different ways of playing a screw shot off the black. Okay, I'm going to give you an example of how extreme check side uh, works. This is a bit of an exhibition shot. It's not a shot you'd see if the frame was live. But when you see how hard I hit this, you think the cue ball was going all the way around the table. It just shows you how check side could kill the pace of the cue ball. So we're going to play for the black into this corner pocket. But we're going to play with extreme right hand side with this check. So it's going to come off this cushion then this cushion and the check side is going to kill the cue ball, kill the pace 
and we're going to leave ourselves on the black into that corner pocket. As I say, when you see how hard I hit this, you'll think I was going around the table. Now you see, the cue ball just died off the second cushion. So that's just an example of how check side in the extreme can help your position. So I'm going to hit the brown with the same amount of power, but this time with run inside. So that will show you uh, an example of how the cue ball will accelerate off the second cushion rather than kill the pace of it with the check side. So same place we're going to hit here, here, but instead of the cue ball getting killed off the second cushion, we're going to go all around the table because the pink is in the bulk end. So it's left hand side this time. Same pace I'm hitting it at. Now you see the run inside accelerates the cue ball to bring it back up the table perfectly on the pink. Another way that side spin is used uh, is obviously playing swerve shots. Uh, we've got a situation here where only pink and black left on the table. Your opponent has fluked a snooker behind the black. We only need the pink. So we're obviously gutted about him fluking the snooker, but it's not impossible to swerve round the black and pot the pink. So we're going to go round the right hand side of the black. So that means we need to put left hand side on the cue ball to push the cue ball out to the right and then bring it back in to try and put the black. Now over this distance, to get extreme swerve on the cue ball, you can't just play it normally with a parallel because it's just you're not going to get the, the swerve action on it. So in order to get the swerve, you're going to have to lift the butt of the cue in the air and really aim down a bit on this cue ball, but still left hand side. Okay, we're full ball snookered behind the black. So I want to go around the right hand side of the black, raise the butt of the cue in the air, down on the left hand side of the cue ball. Swerve around the black, potted the pink. Now we don't care our opponent flew to snooker, we won the frame. So hopefully I've made something which is really one of the hardest things in snooker a little bit more clear. We've seen how to put check side, run inside, and playing ball, the effects it has. Uh, actually on the cue ball. Hope you've learned from that. Hope it improves your game as always. If it has, please leave any comments and like and subscribe please.